Hey kids, welcome back to our show. I'm Randy, and these are my little buddies, the Amalg Animals. That's right, Randy. Hi kids, I'm Luxley the Liger, and I'm half lion and half tiger. And I am Puck the Platypus. I'm half duck and half beaver. And I'm Zora the Zorse, and I'm half zebra and half horse. And I'm Cory the Koi Dog. I'm half dog and half coyote. And together, you're all the Amalg Animals. Yay! Yeah. And that's a fact, Jack. Hey guys, why don't you remind everybody what an Amalg Animal is? An Amalg Animal is someone who comes from two or more races, just like all of us. Yeah, it is a combination of the word Amalgam and Animal. I can say Amalg Animal. Or if you can say Amalg Animal. Let's see if our viewers can say Amalg Animal. Now this should, should be funny. <laughs> a malam, a malagran, a granum, a malam animals, a a malagan, algam, a malam, a malaganimals, It seems like the Amalg Animals is really starting to catch on. Yeah. Yeah, pretty soon we'll become a household name. Yeah, and then everyone will like us. Why wouldn't everyone like you? What do you mean, Puck? All of the Amalg Animals are the combination of two different backgrounds. So that makes us multiracial. And what's wrong with that? There is absolutely nothing wrong with it. We love being from two different cultures. But because we look different than other kids, some people just don't understand. Ah, I see. Sometimes people are scared of things different than themselves, or of things they don't understand. That's what our moms and dads told us too, so we never judge a book by its cover. That's excellent advice, Zora. Your parents are so right. People should like you for who you are on the inside, not just the outside. In fact, because you're all from two diverse backgrounds, 
they should like you twice as much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> true. Yeah. Hey guys, speaking of diverse backgrounds, what do you get when you cross an elephant with a fish? We don't know, Corey. What do you get when you cross an elephant with a fish? A pair of swimming trunks. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, man. I, you, you do. You, only you can. Uh-oh. Corey's telling jokes again. <laughs> yeah, you know what that means. It's time for Funny Bone Follies. What do you get when you cross a hard hat and a snake? A bow constrictor. What do you get when you cross a parrot with hiking boots? A walkie squawkie. What do you get when you cross a rabbit and with an airplane? The hair force. What do you get when you cross a helicopter with a jellyfish? A jellycopter. What do you get when you cross a gorilla with an angel? Kung Fu. What do you get when you cross a pig with an EMS wagon? A ambulance. <laughs> You're too much, Corey. <laughs> yeah, I crack myself up. Hey guys, it's time for Word of the Day. Yay! Today's Word of the Day is diversity. Does anybody know what that means? Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. no. well, well, what does it mean, Randy? You don't know? Let's see if our viewers know. What does diversity mean to me? Diversity means difference, you know, uh, celebrating difference is what I like to say. Because we always say New York City is the most diverse place on this earth. And I believe that to be true, you know, it's, 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 even within my own Caribbean culture, there are many diverse cultures, subcultures. And you all see them together working and living next to each other. Fantastic. I think. Diversity? It's what life is all about. The different languages, different people, different backgrounds, and all coming together and just making a beautiful song of different people, different backgrounds. Diversity, that's what life is all about. Diversity. Diversity to me means different, but all together. That's what diversity is to me. I mean, you have people that are many different things, and they're that in one thing. And sometimes it's just differences being brought together because you have, like, my neighborhood is diverse. There's different people from different backgrounds, different cultures. And they all get together and they all share it and you all get to experience stuff with other people. That's, to me, that's what diversity is. And that's what it's about, is being able to join all those things together so you can learn something from a different culture or a different belief system or sect that you're not used to. That's what diversity is to me. Diversity. Um, I think diversity is an awesome thing. It's um, just having differences, having a variety, having an assortment of, of things, people, cultures, races. Um, what are we without diversity? If everyone and everything were the same, it would be kind of boring. So I think that diversity, um, instead of kind of looking at it and saying, oh, that's different from me, uh, I'm not too sure. It's kind of like, oh wow, something new. 
is something interesting, something fun. Diversity is an awesome thing. Diversity, I like to think of New York, when I think of diversity, I think of people and cultures from all over the world and they come to this melting pot of a city over here and that's diversity. The Amalic Animals in Eracism These are the Amalic Animals. They're Luxley, Zora, Cory, and Puck. And if you're as different as them, then you are in luck. Most kids only come from a culture of one. But the amalic animals come from two, making them twice as fun. Let's find more friends at Luxley, special like us. They soon came upon a group making a fuss. A sad little cub sat alone in the snow. What's going on, asked Luxley, wanting to know. My name is Tucker the Tigon, and I'm crying, can't you see? None of the other tiger cubs will play with me. My mom is a lioness, and my dad is a tiger. I look like you, but I'm not quite a liger. Tigon is mixed, of that have no doubt. It's because I'm different that makes me stand out. But that's perfect, said Luxley, can't you see? Being unique like my friends and me. But suddenly a bully barged in and joined the fray. I'm Snooty the Snow Tiger and I have a lot to say. Say what you want, a Tigon you may be, but you're not really a tiger whole like me. My fur is like silk, my stripes like night. Only real tigers are this beautiful, of this I know I'm right. That's not true, Luxley said out loud. Being from two cultures makes us all proud. You're only half a tiger, said Snooty with a sneer. So you can't play with us, her nose in the air. So off Snooty went, laughing with her friends, leaving Tucker behind without making amends. Don't be sad, said Puck. You can be one of us. We accept you as you are, without making a fuss. You really mean it, Axe Tucker? I can be one of you? Of course, said Cory, and we'll teach Snooty a lesson too. The others were confused at Cory's bold plan. What do you have in mind, Axora, making a stand? Cory just winked, his laughter quite clean. Don't worry, we'll show Snooty it's not nice to be mean. So the friends followed Cory, listening to his rant. While Cory searched all over until he came to a plant. Hey guys, celebrity gift. Why don't you introduce yourself? Sure. My name is Catherine Rodriguez, also known as Poetic Wisdom. And I heard you guys had a great message, so I just had to stop by and say hello. Yay! Oh, great. Well, today's word of the day is diversity. What does that mean to you? Hmm, diversity. That's a really good word. Diversity to me means differences. It can mean difference in cultures, backgrounds, the color of your skin, the language you speak, just many differences. Sort of like opening up a bag of Skittles and having many different flavors and colors to choose from. Diverse. Hello, Skittles. Now, what do you do, Poetic Wisdom? Well, I'm an author 
And this is a copy of my book, Poetic Wisdom, and it's a book of poetry. I write poetry, I also write screenplays for movies, and I write all sorts of different things. I'm a diverse writer. Hey, Poetic Wisdom, can you give us a sample of what you do? Of course, I would love to. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's hear it for Poetic Wisdom! So, I wrote a poem about diversity just for you guys. <laughs> and here's my poem. How beautiful would a rainbow be if it only had one color to reflect from its arc? How interesting would the deep sea be if the only creature in it were a shark? How much fun would it be to dress if we only had one season all year long? How often would we sing if we only knew one song? Who would we talk to if we all thought the same thing? What would make us different if we all had the same color skin? What would make food tasty if we only had one dish? What if there were only one star in the entire universe to make a wish? What if the only flower in every garden was a red rose? What if we all walked around wearing the same clothes and we all spoke one language and all looked the same? No variety, nothing new, no options for change. Things would probably be less exciting, don't you think? I'm so happy that we are all so different and unique, that we have so many different languages to speak, and we have many different cultures to learn from, and we have different foods, different features on our faces. So happy that I can travel to so many different places and see, smell, taste, and feel different things each time. The variety of the world stimulates my mind and it keeps me looking forward to learning much more every day meeting new and interesting people I've never met before trying different things that I've never tried makes me feel thankful to live in a world so diversified we are assorted people and our differences make us who we are and when we learn to accept those differences we will get very far. Yay! Thank you! That's great! I want to write the poem. I will help you. And in the meantime, you can read my book of poetry, Poetic Wisdom. Thank you, Amalaganimals! Yay! Yay. Welcome. Yay. What's that, X Luxley, wanting to know? It's just a thing I was looking for, said Corey. Berries that grow in the snow. Snowberries are rare and very, very sweet, but they're also known for another secret treat. Come on, I'll show you, said Corey. This trick you'll love. We'll show Snooty how it feels to be made fun of. So the Amalaganimals returned and watched the tigers at play. making snowmen and sledding all throughout the day. But as Snooty and her friends frolicked with glee, 
Cory snuck up and planted a snow barrier three. Now watch what happens, Cory said with delight. Watch as the tiger cubs begin a snowball fight. The tigers hit Snooty with snowballs from head to toe. But when the fight was over, Snooty yelled, oh no. Snooty's stripes were erased to everyone's surprise. What happened to me was all she could cry. Her friends gathered around and started to laugh. You're not a tiger, they said, not even a half. But I am a tiger, she said. My fur was stained white. But her friends continued to tease her out of pure spite. The tiger cubs kicked Snooty out, making her sad. But Cory soon found her. Sorry we made you feel bad. We just wanted you to see how Tucker had felt. But now you know what it's like to be a tiger with a different pelt. Will my stripes ever return? Snooty acts feeling quite blue. The snowberry juice will fade, said Cory, but now you see the real you. It's what's inside that counts, not the color of our skin. And when we accept our differences, then we all win. You're so right, said Snooty. Now I see. No matter what anyone looks like, they're no different than me. Can you ever forgive me, Tucker, for being so bad? Of course, he said. We can all be friends now, and for that I'm glad. They all played together so that all could see. You should never judge by appearances, don't you agree? Well, guys, that's all the time we have for today. Aww. It's time for us to get ready to go. I hope all you boys and girls out there have enjoyed your time laughing and learning with the Amalek animals today. And we want all the kids out there to remember, it doesn't matter what color you are, or how big or small you are, or how loud or quiet you are. Mm-hmm, we're all the same in our hearts, so be nice to each other every day. Okay, that's a wrap. I'm Randy, and these are the Amalog Animals. See you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.